Here we are at the historic Smoot Theater in downtown Parkersburg. This is my friend Felice Jorgensen, who rescued the Smoot, literally rescued the Smoot and saved it. It's, it's the only surviving uh, theater from the old vaudeville days, and it's a beautiful place, one of the great focal points in Parkersburg. How many, uh, how many theaters were there in Parkersburg back in those days? <laughs> there were seven theaters. What year was it originally built? It was built in 1926. Built in 1926. And it was three weeks from demolition when volunteers decided we should save this building. We're also here today because the McDonough Foundation stepped up with money. I know you're really proud of uh, the restoration of this front area of the theater. Yeah, we've tried to do everything um, and keep it true to what it was. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible job of restoration, mm -hmm. it really is. All right, so here we are on the stage. Mm -hmm. And if any of us had on hard shoes, we, would, we could be able to click on this and know that this is a nice hard surface maple. Mm -hmm. And actually this nice hard surface was put here in the 20s for the tap dancers, because every vaudeville show had tap dancers. Mm -hmm. And this is pine back here, and that's a soft wood. And that way, on the soft wood, you could screw in set pieces. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's a trap door. Every vaudeville stage had a trap door. And right there, if you say the magic word, you go through <laughs> the trap door, you know. Tell us a little bit about this rope system. Okay, the fly space is where everything flies in and flies out. So if we wanted to magically fly Peter Pan, for instance, the man called a rigger, R-I-G-G-E-R, mm -hmm. goes up that little ladder, 65 feet in the air, and he takes his rigging, rigging hangs down, Peter Pan wears a hook and a harness, Peter Pan flies. There was a show here, it was called Singer's Midgets. In that troupe, there were three great big elephants, and so when the elephants appeared, it was like, <gasps> what are we going to do? about the trap door. Wouldn't it be terrible if it would... <laughs> you wouldn't want an elephant yeah, to fall elephant through. elephant in the basement. That could be painful. So, they reinforced the trap door and it's never been open since. Um, we're going to go downstairs and take a look at the old dressing rooms yeah. from the vaudeville days. This is the orchestra room and right above us is the uh, trap door. Oh, I do like the clown. This was the stars room, the biggest room of all. Mm -hmm. And um, we've had famous people there like what, the most we had Hal Holbrook, Vince Gill there, Wedding Marsalis. I see how he's envisioned Vince Gill as being a really nice guy. He was very nice. Uh, and then here's Charlie Chaplin, who was a uh -huh. product of the time period. This is one of our eight dressing rooms. Mm -hmm. These are original. 1926, if you're a lady who wants to curl her hair, you don't have a curling iron that you plug in. Instead, you turn on the gas, light the flame, put the iron in here, heat it, then you curl your hair. Those are from the 20s. All right, I always love the view from up here. And it's amazing with the acoustics in here. You know, even up here, you can really hear stuff on the stage very well. And you can well. tell. You can mm -hmm. tell just sitting here talking in a normal tone of voice that the acoustics are great. Look at the view. I mean, look. You, you see everything from up here. It's, it's a great place to sit. Now, remember that in the early 30s, this became a movie house. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go up and look at the All old right. projection room. Okay. All right. These are carbon arc projectors. In the old days, one reel only had 18 minutes of, of film, I mean, of image. So the projectionist was stuck here. Now, think about Gone with the Wind, which was a four hour movie. Projectionist sounds like a pretty difficult job. I think so. I mean, Highly skilled. And I've run into a lot of people who said, I did that, I did that. I did you that. Know? Well, this is part of the history and heritage story that I just love about Parkersburg. It really is. Yeah. Thank you for okay. sharing.